We are now just under five months away from the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. So what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to be adding in tons of new Jedi and Sith lore, as well as Force lore, by J.J. Abrams, Chris Terrio, and even creator George Lucas, in order to benefit many of the new characters like Rey and Kylo Ren, that will conclude their story in Episode 9 of the Skywalker Saga. Now what's really intriguing about Episode 9 is that we do know that these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this this is where things begin to get very exciting for the first Skywalker in the Rise of Skywalker film. Now specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that a description of Rey traveling into the Lost City, which it's described to be a place full of ancient Jedi and Sith ruins, artifacts, and relics. It's described that Rey makes her way through a series of catacombs, where she is said to eventually reach the Land of Warriors. As time passes by, it's explained that she reaches the statue of the first Skywalker that is said to stand over 50 feet high and has been within the Lost City for over a thousand years. Toward the base of the statue, it's described that there is ancient text written on the statue itself, where it's explained that Rey uses the books to translate where it reads the name as Qualm Luin Skywalker. It's described that the statue is said to have long black hair and even wields a saber blade as part of the design of the statue. It's said that Qualm Skywalker was the first light side force user to discover the ability of flow walking that Kylo Ren is said to eventually use in the film within the second act of this movie. So let's go over a couple of parts about this because we do know that this movie is going to be very important to Disney and Lucasfilm as far as a lot of the Jedi, Sith, and Force lore goes and how it's going to be utilized and organized in this movie and exactly how it's going to benefit the character of Rey. So, okay, in this scenario, we have Rey entering the Lost City. She discovers the tall statue of what's said to be the first Skywalker. Now, currently, it's unclear if the first Skywalker here, quote-unquote, is directly related to Luke, Anakin, Kylo, and Leia, or if it's just going to be the first person that had the surname of Skywalker, if that makes a lot of sense. So, with that being said, in this particular moment, she discovers the identity of the first, Skywalker, the full name, if you will, that she is able to translate from the ancient texts through the Jedi books that she got from Luke on Ahch 2, where the name actually translates to Qualm Luin Skywalker. A very interesting name, I gotta say. It does sound very Jedi-like. It does also sound very ancient. Uh, what I like about this, though, is that J.J. Abrams is expanding the Skywalker family and or the origins of the Skywalker name itself. Now, we do know that they will be exploring the origins of the bloodline as well as the origins of the Skywalker name. And without a doubt, the first Skywalker here in this scenario has something to do with that big explanation that's coming our way in this movie by J.J. Now, on top of all of this, we do know that the Lost City is going to be a big location within the second act. It's going to be very important for Rey, you know, being developed as a character from start to finish and how she's really going to gather all of these different pieces of information of the ancient Jedi and Sith, as well as new secrets of the Force. Let's not forget about that because... This mission of hers, it's all about gathering as much information as possible to keep historical accuracy in order to create a new order that may or may not actually fall into the same exact problems that the Jedi Order did before in the past. So, we can see how they're really trying to introduce this ancient lore in The Rise of Skywalker. Again, like I've always expressed, uh, they're using Episode 9 as a foundation to really build towards new Star Wars lore, toward a brand new expanded universe. You know, we do know that episode 9, after all of this is over, they're going to actually start building towards a new set of series, whether it's going to be in the forms of books, novels, comics, video games, you name it. They are going to build towards their own version of the expanded universe, kind of similar to what happened after Return of the Jedi ended, and throughout the 90s and the early 2000s, we got a library worth of books, novels, and stuff like that. So, with that being said, this movie really has a lot going for it. The fact that it's being used as a foundation to create all of this new lore and 
all of these different all of these different pieces of Jedi and Sith origins and stuff like that. I honestly cannot wait to see how this is all going to be utilized by JJ and how it's all also going to be explained in greater depth in the upcoming The Rise of Skywalker novelization, which is set to release alongside with the movie, which is going to make us able to really understand the film a little bit better as well as getting more information on what was gonna, what is actually going to be shown in the movie itself. And the last thing I do want to touch on here is that this actual statue is said to be over 50 feet high. So it gives you an idea of how you know deep the Lost City really is below the surface of this unknown world in an unknown star system in the Rise of Skywalker's timeline. We're still not quite sure exactly where we are. Anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.